Hey, what's up, you guys? Love you, Shalom Travis here. Um, I'm finally able to do these blowouts because the weekend before, um, I did a uh, like a poll in the comments, kind of, and no one answered on whether or not I should blow all those capacitors here. I counted them. There's only 15, but uh, yeah. And no one said anything, so I just decided not to do them. But we're going to do them today, because we need to. We need to get them gone. And we got... And last weekend, I wasn't able to do blowouts, because I forgot my charger. And by the time we finally got a charger, it was already too late. Couldn't do it, so... So we're finally doing this stuff this weekend. Finally getting rid of this crap. Um, these Sony speakers... These are out of the 2003 Oldsmobile Alero because the guys replaced them before giving them to us or before giving the car to us. And uh, we already blew out the original speakers. But uh, these Sonys ended up blowing up because they're cheap. 200 watts my ass. So like 30 watts peak. But yeah. So we replaced them. The, the new speakers aren't much better. They're probably worse actually. But uh, I think the system sounds better. With woofers that aren't really blown. Now these woofers aren't completely blown. They still have a little bit of life to them. But they're uh, they're to the point where they, uh, they just sound like crap. So they just, we replaced them, the system sounds better, and now we got these to play around with. See, they explode. Well, these are definitely going to explode, all right. <laughs> that that tweeter's real, because there's what a capacitor would have been. Um, but yeah, I didn't take, I didn't, I'm not going to bother blowing those capacitors, because it said 100 working volts. We've tried blowing a capacitor with that rating before, and, and it just took a long time to just smoke. So, no. I ain't doing it. Oh well. Enough boredom of that crap. So we got the other one. So I'm thinking start off with one speaker, then do all the capacitors, and then finish the video with the other speaker. So let's go ahead and start off now after nearly three minutes of friggin' <laughs> Look cool. It's locked. And there's some coil coming out. I'm gonna get this thing torn apart. Well, these were kind of a biatch to tear apart. Um I got this thing torn apart only to find that the skeleton is just in there the entire thing so screw it and the uh woofer is lodged the coil is lodged so that's all the carnage it is the show because yeah i also forgot to mention that uh we are finally able to get out here because the weather is okay it's not exactly the way i want it but it's it's better than it being scorching hot. So, uh, so finally been able to actually get out here and do this instead of having to do it inside. Oh well. For good old time's sake. Time to blow up some wisdom. Remember, kids, don't try at home, because I actually got something to show you. Look. See that? There's one of the capacitors. I'm not sure if it's from today or what. But these are sometimes how powerful capacitors can be. They can sometimes break through the through cardboard like you see here. That's how powerful they can be. So I'm pretty much protected by this box, but it still can be pretty dangerous. 
So remember kids, don't try this. Um, adults, if you want to do this, please have precautions like me. This box is one of my precautions. But there you go. This is one good way to show you how powerful capacitors can be when they blow up. They can go through boxes like a bullet. I'm surprised this even went through the box at all. But I'm also wondering how it didn't go completely through the box instead of just did what it did. Actually, yeah, this might be the capacitor we did today because that wasn't there before, so yeah. All right, last capacitor. All right, last um, component for the blowouts. Let's hope this goes good. All right, here we go with this piece of crap. Holy frick. <laughs> mm. Oh my God, there goes the tweeter. What a lovely connection. Whoops. What a piece of crap. That coil looks like it's completely untouched. I looked at it, there seems to be no tear. So maybe this guy still might be functional. Oh yeah, we got a fire. <laughs> I knew I could get the pizza to go, just had to find out how. Just gotta short out between the two plates. Oh, you can't even see it. Anyway, make sure to punch that like, subscribe button like a boss. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to stay tuned for more great videos to come. And don't forget to check out my videos. And see you on the next one.